I didn't see you there. I'm Chef Sean, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, in my kitchen, we're going to be making a beautiful apple and pineapple cocktail. Now, our ingredients are, wait, due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, we have to make sure we wash our hands. A very important step. All you've got to do is grab some soap, one pump like that, and just wash. Remember to dry your hands after. Very important. Now we can go out to the garden to source our prime ingredients. Today we are outside in the beautiful sunshine to get a hold of some of the finest ingredients. And here we go. Look at this. Absolutely perfect. Wait a second. Sorry. <laughs> this is a different ingredient for another show. Prime ingredients. Here at the apple tree, we have some of the most amazing apples. Like this. And oh, on right here as well. Perfect ingredients, contrasting flavors, oh, crisp, solid, and even cold. This is gonna make a fantastic apple and pineapple cocktail. And now that we have our two apples, it is time to get the second ingredient, some delicious pineapple. And look at that. We've got some delicious pineapple juice. And now, we've got to prepare our ingredients by cutting the apples. So first, we're going to get a chopping board. And I have one right down here, a nice big teal chopping board. You're also going to get a sharp knife. Now we just place the apple, and when we cut things, we just use sort of the knuckle of our thumb here just to guide the blade. Just like that. And we have these nice looking quarters of apple here. I could almost eat one right now. So fresh and cold. Absolutely beautiful. And we're just gonna do the same thing for the green apple here. Now that we've cut up our apples, we have to prepare pineapple. Now. To do this, we don't want the actual pineapple itself, we want the sweet and succulent juices that are residing on the inside. And we are gonna use a very clever bit of technology here called a strainer. Now, this strainer is able to get out just the juices and ignore all of the unwanted uh, bits of pineapple that are fucking around. So we just gotta open up the, uh, the can here, and as you can see, those nice pre-cut bits of it's a pineapple, and we just we want to get a little bit in. So we just, there you go, just like that. Just put the whole thing in. And there you go. We'll just let that sit for a little bit. Just put it over the side here. And wash this out. And always remember to recycle. It's made of tin, it doesn't go in the bin. And now we're gonna juice these beautiful apples. We're gonna use this fantastic piece of technology, the bullet of Nutra. And we just plug it in like this into any socket or power point that we have. Simple and effective. And then, whilst it's powered up, we go grab two key components. The casing and the thing. Now, all we need to do is put some apple in like this, and some of the green apple. We want to get an even amount. And then we're going to grab our pre made pineapple juice and just pour in like that. The next step is to take the bladed edge, screw it on, 
and you have this wonderful, wonderful little bullet here, which you put onto the Nutra, and then this is gonna be loud, and you just set it. here with me behind the counter so we get a nice close look at this liquidized apple and pineapple. Once you look at that, look how beautiful that looks. Mmm. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take we're gonna take this and we're just gonna put our pineapple somewhere. So I'm gonna get a nice container so we can use it in a later project. Um, I'm just gonna leave here. I'm just gonna take it pour it in just like that and get on it and into the fridge because you can't put it back in the pantry after it's been opened and now that we've freed up our strainer we're going to put it we're just going to strain strain all this because as you can see there's these little bits of, of the skin of the apple yeah I'm not sure if the camera can see it there but you can see it and we don't want those in our cocktail. So we're just gonna pour this in like that. Mmm, absolutely beautiful. And we're just gonna pop it through there. And you'll see all those little nasty bits that were that be strained by the sieve are just sitting on top and you get this beautiful drained juice below. Mmm, absolutely beautiful. Now, how do we have our juice? We've gotta find a nice cup. And luckily I've got one right over here. One that doesn't have sand all inside it. And we're just gonna take our juice, now that it's been strained, and we're just gonna pour it in. Mmm. I want you to look at that. And actually, the cup is a little bit big, so I want, I want to suit it a bit better. So I'm just gonna take a slightly smaller cup, also sandless, and just... Why don't you look at that froth that just sits on top? Absolutely pristine. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that pineapple that we saved from earlier. And it's gonna take a little piece. A nice small knife. I make an insertion right there. And pop it in. And we have a nice looking apple and pineapple cocktail. And before we move on to our favorite part, we're gonna to have to do our least favorite part. And that is of course, the washing up. We're gonna to have to wash some of the dishes that we use. Luckily, this time, I have a helpful handy machine which will save us so much time, and that is a dishwasher. And you just put your dishes in like that. You gotta shake out some of, the, some of the unwanted business in there first. But you just, once you've done that, Put it straight in, and, and it just, you'll turn the dishwasher on later, and it will just clean. Now, unfortunately, the dishwasher can't handle all types of bogeys, so you've got to use some, some hand washing. Like the Nutribullet, for example. You can't put Nutribullet pieces in the dishwasher, unfortunately. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna wash it like this, just to get that residue out there. Look at that. Now, the Nutribullet also, you can't put it away wet because mold will grow on the inside of it and that will just be disgusting. It will smell and the smell will get into your food and it's unhealthy and unhygienic. So we're just gonna put it here to dry for a little bit. Now the knives, the knives, you never wash a knife in a dishwasher. Bad, bad, bad. So we're just gonna take it and just gently wipe it if you're using a knife with meat, you're gonna make sure you use soap and hot water, but we haven't been using many meat, so we're just gonna give it a nice wipe, get the juices off, wipe the handle there, and always carry a knife safely around the kitchen. Back in its little slot there. And we'll do the same thing with this little knife. And just put it back like that. Now we have all this leftover apple, so we're gonna take a little bowl to put it in. Now, to make sure the apple doesn't dry out, we're gonna grab some magic cling film. So cling film, you just, it's just plastic stuff. 
it's not very good for the environment, so I wouldn't recommend using it all the time, but it's just useful if you just want to preserve some stuff. You just put it over the bowl and it should stay nicely sealed and you won't lose any of the taste over time. Just put it into the fridge. Now the last bits of the apple, this is the cores that we cut out. And those can just easily be put straight into the cupboards. Put the rest of our stuff away, take the chopping board. This one can go straight into the dishwasher, just like that. And all this water as well, got quite a bit of water. So we'll just take a nice tea towel and just clean, clean it up. There you go. Around the coffee machine, just a hint to a possible future episode. Clean up some of those juices that have spilt. And now we can move on to our favorite part that everyone loves, and that is the tasting of the cocktail. But first, I've got to get one piece of equipment that is very revolutionary, new, and absolutely amazing. Now, this new revolutionary piece of technology I have right behind my back here, it is these. I have some nice metal straws. No, no, these don't destroy the environment and the turtle are kept safe. So, I'm gonna pop one in here. I need one for the cameraman too. There you go. Absolutely beautiful. I highly recommend this wherever you are, whenever you are. Perfect drink. Why don't you have a try? Sure thing. Oh, now that is absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. That has been this episode of Chef Sean's Kitchen. And thank you for being here with me.